Hello my future Aryan friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Once again, my name is Beth and I have been making videos for ATIT's exam. So I, I apologize if it's been a while since I last uploaded my video, but today I finally work out on my new um, ser series which is about blood, heart and blood vessels. So this is uh, anatomy and physiology question. I'm not really sure which one has more to it, but it's you know it's in there and so let's get started okay so in this uh, PowerPoint we are going to go over some um, pointers about blood heart and blood vessels and it includes hemoglobin, white blood cells, pH, oxygen, concentration and temperature, plasma, bilirubin, blood type, red blood cells and platelets, veins, arteries, right and left pulmonary veins, cardiac arrhythmias, endocardium, myocardium, epicardium and pericardium. We have the heart and cardiovascular center in medulla oblongata and baroreceptors, what they are. Then we're going to find them out in the next slide. And we also have here stroke, heart attack, AKG, systole, diastole, and cardiac cycle. Okay, so I have tw prepared at least 20 terms that we can go over and study and for those who are a member of my channel you guys have more benefits because you because you can access the um, test I mean question and answer portion of this um, PowerPoint okay so only for the members okay and if you would like to be a member you are welcome to click the join button and below this video and so you can be a member as well Okay, so number one, hemoglobin is the kind of pro blood protein that explicitly found in the RBC or red blood cells. So the blood protein that can be found in red blood cells is called hemoglobin. And then white blood cells are blood components that prevents humans from various pathogenic agents such as viruses and bacteria. Okay, number three pH, oxygen, concentration, and temperature affect the bonding of oxygen and to hemoglobin. Again, pH, oxygen, concentration, and temperature affect the bonding of oxygen to hemoglobin. I may be so fast. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, number four, plasma makes up the highest volume in the whole human blood, which is 55%. So, 55%. 55 55% of blood volume is composed of plasma okay number five type a antigens on the red blood cells will be present to a person who has a type a negative blood a negative type a blood I should say Okay, number six, the presence of bilirubin can cause jaundice in the blood plasma um, which is known to be the breakdown of hemoglobin. Okay, again, the presence of bilirubin can cause jaundice, jaundice in the blood plasma, which is known to be the breakdown of hemoglobin. Okay, number seven, when someone has a deficiency in platelets, he would experience from bruising and bleeding okay so when someone experiences bruising and bleeding you might as well like have them checked up because it's probably um, having deficiency in platelets okay um, if you can find this question in your T's exam that would be easier for you to answer because I have given you this pointer right okay number eight when transfusing blood to an a negative old recipient blood type O negative donor would be most suitable okay so negative O recipient um, would have a negative O type donor um, they would be a perfect match okay number nine red blood cells and platelets both lack nucleus that makes them um, have in common so red blood cells and platelets both have both lack nucleus number ten 
Veins carry blood toward the heart, while our arteries carry blood away from the heart. So just take note of this um, word, arteries away, okay? So veins carry blood toward the heart. V and T are close to each other, like in alphabetical order. And just take note, arteries away from the blood. So they both start with letter A. Number 11, right and left pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood. Again, remember, right and left pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood. Okay, number 12, cardiac arrhythmias can be corrected by a pacemaker. So if you are asked, like, what kind of disease or, you know, heart um, problems can be corrected by a pacemaker, so you'd, you would be... Um, able to answer with cardiac arrhythmias. Okay, for number 13, we have a sequencing question. So, endocardium, myocardium, epicardium, and pericardium is the correct order of structures starting inside the ventricle and going outward. Okay, so if you are asked for the opposite, um, what is the correct order of structures starting inside the ventricle and going out inward like that okay so oh, inward and outward opposite so we would be answering pericardium epicardium myocardium and endocardium okay number 14 the heart cardiovascular center in medulla oblongata and the baroreceptors are involved in regulating blood pressure so if you are asked like this what what organs or um, parts of the body in, is involved in or is or are involved in regulating blood pressure? Then you would be answering, um, if there's choices all of the above, then you would be answering all of the above. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Okay, number 15. Pulmonary embolism may be cured properly by giving clot dissolving medication. So if there's a question about pulmonary in, in embolism and the cure for it, then you would answer clot dissolving uh, medication. Pulmonary embolism may be cured properly by giving or administering clot dissolving medication. Number 16, when a person is experiencing a severe stroke, abrupt medical care is very important to recovery. So, again, when a person is experiencing a severe stroke, abrupt or immediate medical care is very important to recovery. Number 17, a stroke, also known as cerebrovascular accident, or if you were asked, what is the other term for stroke? Then your answer would be cerebrovascular accident. Okay, so this uh, statement, a stroke also known as cerebrovascular accident means a part of the brain is injured or damaged due to, the, to an interruption to its blood supply. So if part of the brain is damaged because of the interruption of blood supply, then that is known as stroke. Okay, number 18, heart attack is an abrupt death of part of the heart tissue because of lack of oxygen. So heart attack is an immediate or sudden death of a part of the heart tissue because of lack of oxygen. Okay, number 19, electrocardiogram or AKG is a record of the electrical impulses in the cardiac conduction system. So... You, um, again, electrocardiogram or AKG is a record of the electrical impulses in the cardiac conduction system. Next, number 20, systole, systole means period of contraction, while diastole or diastole, however you pronounce it, means the period of relaxation. And the whole sequence of contraction and relaxation, like systole and diastole combined together, is termed as the cardiac cycle. Okay, so I hope you're learning this PowerPoint, and I hope to see you in my next video uh, lesson. So that's it for today, and this is Beth from Reality Life Series, and I hope to see you again on my next video. Uh, come back like probably next week or you know make sure you hit the notification bell so that you will be um, you will be 
notified when my I have my new video coming up. Sorry, I get distracted by my dog barking. And also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And guess what? Like today, there's something um, oh, was that fun that I did. Um, I made this shirt. I'm gonna take a picture of this and like make a separate video. It's like a little heart, and then I embroidered it with heart design too. And it says, uh, "What's that? Future nurses rock." And I will. I'm thinking about like making this um, shirts like and be available for sale in the future. Okay. So thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye. Thank you for watching.